What up, YouTube? This is Getty Video back at you with another video. I want to give a double salute to all of my supporters and anyone watching this video right now. And if you're new here, please like, comment, subscribe, and join the Getty Gang. Why don't you let's get to the content? Okay, man, we already know, man. When it comes down to the streets, man, nobody prides themselves more than a West Coast dude when it comes to the squabble or the fade, right? So, Wack 100 is being sued by a crip by the name of Yael after catching a fade on a reality show that him and Loose Cannon are actually producing, right? And after he loses the fade, he files a lawsuit seeking $50,000 in damages for emotional distress, claiming that he is severely traumatized. And Wack 100 and Loose Cannon is reacting and they're saying, what kind of street dude sues? And Wack 100 is saying, this dude needs to keep crip out of his mouth. It is interesting. I'm going to let y'all get to it shout out to wag 100 shout out to loose cannon this is getty radio let's go when i filed the lawsuit on world star yeah right and my attorney sent the original write up the original shit and they had Big U name in there. And I responded and I said, take Big U name out of there. I don't sue no street because I deal with them niggas on the street. I'm going out to the company, right? Yael is suing for $50,000 because we he got his ass whooped on the show. Straight buff the shit. But he signed That's the great. waiver though, Wax. He, he signed, signed the waiver, waiver That's and what all that. But this the, no, he definitely signed a waiver. Not only he signed a waiver, it's obvious you are open participant because even after you got your ass whooped, you came on the next episode and apologized for what you did to get your ass whooped. Not only that, we didn't even show the other part. We gave the nigga grace. Like, I ain't, I wasn't going to say nothing, but I'm going to say it now. They had to make that nigga fight. Man, that man slapped that man and he still didn't get out on the spot. What? Yeah, we got all that shit. And the gloss slapped him and he still didn't flight. Mm, mm. Did, he, did, he, did, he, did he go to the hospital? Uh, not that we know of, because he showed right back up. You know, the nigga, you got to remember, this is a time where Loose didn't pay for the nigga mama casket. This nigga ain't really got no food, money to eat, shit. To, you know, they really paying. Wait, wait, you know, hold, looking on, out hold, on, hold on, hold on. You say that nigga pay for his mama casket? Yes, Loose paid for his mama's casket, bro. This a fact. And he turn, and he turn around trying to sue him up? It's a fact, bro. That's what I'm saying, nigga. You got into it with a nigga. You even heard the nigga once I exposed him and I made him start talking about it. You even heard you got in. You a crip that got into it with another crip. Nigga, Gloss is a crip, nigga. Use a crip, nigga. You got into it with this man, nigga. Y'all nosed up. This nigga put his hands on you, nigga. And y'all squabbled up and he got the best of you, nigga. Like, so I'm I'm a little confused, my nigga. This that shit 40 Glock did with game, my nigga. Same on top of shit. Yeah, that's the same. That's exactly what 40 did to the game. Same shit. That nigga talked about game. Mama, kids, talked about his dead homies, all kind of shit for years. And game caught the nigga and whooped him with what a camera phone in one hand. The nigga get in the car with Bad Habit Rabbit from Main Street. Bad Habit kept it real. He said, Whack, I'm a crip. He a crip. When he jumped in the car, I'm like, nigga, what happened to you? When he told me, I get a nigga to whistle. He say, he say, nah, cuz, just get me up out of here. I'm a half in the courtroom. Yeah, that nigga got in the courtroom on the motherfucking stand and told the motherfucking judge, they say, you see the man that saw it? You see him right there. He beat me so bad, I could no longer have kids because I can't get an erection no more. That nigga said, Chuck, go pull that motherfucking paperwork. That's public record, civil court, bro. Oh, I told him I was going to go get this shit right here is, uh, uh, what's his, uh, what's his name? Larry Grant. That's Yael, right? You suing a crip because you had a squabble with another crip. Man, I don't want to hear nothing about these streets. This is what I be telling these niggas, bro. And see, on some real shit, right? On some real shit, they be playing the game they playing. That's why I know when it get live the way it's supposed to get live, they going to tell, bro. Facts. They going to tell, nigga, you niggas ain't playing the way we... If you doing this, you're going to tell. And, and the, the crazy part about it is, like, they think it, they know we're going to go all the way. But guess what, Chuck? Guess who they looking up to? Who they influencer? Who? Big Useless. <laughs> you think he didn't check in before he did this? Oh, 
man. This is what these niggas is doing, bro. Man, you ain't never finna see my shit going at no man. We not we not suing no street niggas, bro. I don't wanna hear no more of that super duper crip shit, bro. Cause guess what? He ain't stepped out and said he want another fade with Kloss. Then you know, they said he admitted that he can't go back to his own neighborhood. Uh, wait, how long I was telling you that, Chuck? He admitted that shit because he I was like, "I said, Chuck, they ran him out of there. They got off a clip on that." Yeah, the nigga gonna try to. So somebody asked him the question, then he was like, "Yeah, uh, but I don't want to go back to that neighborhood. Them niggas function with rats and all this shit. Like, bro, stop it." Now nah, he doing the Snoopy badass. I listen. I told y'all. I said, "Yo, bro, you can't even go back over there." Your homies just called. They said, "Whack, we just tried to get that nigga up out of here. We sent that nigga up out of here, nigga burning up out of here. He know he can't come back, nigga." Woo. Okay, it's like when I came in. I said, "Bro, <clears throat> last month you've been on stage over here talking this big you loose cannon shit, and never once you gonna tell these people why? What, nigga? You was on the show, nigga. You got your ass. Yeah, worked. he that tried. Remember, he it. tried to deny it to me because he. I asked him about. It. He like, and no, put, that ain't said, true. Okay, go to my Instagram. Watch this." When I put it up, <laughs> then I started saying they was like, "That ain't him." I'm like, "That is Mom, that." Man, fuck you mean that ain't that him? Is him. Niggas is crazy. He still this. was trying to say it wasn't him, and then one day, um, Deuce was like, "Yeah, that is y'all ill." He talked to me about it prior. So why y'all been saying it wasn't? Nah, uh, that now weeks? come to clean up. Talk to you about it prior. You didn't even know. None of them niggas knew. You sitting on the motherfuckers. You sitting up there, nigga, knowing damn well what's going on, how it's going on, part of what's going on, and the whole time, nigga, you on this side of the fence. This shit crazy, bro. I'm telling you, they police. Police ass shit, bro. Weird as one nigga up there. He, he way up and wherever he at, this other nigga right here, you filing lawsuits on the crib because you had a fade with a crib. And then came back and apologized to the crib. The next day. All that shit on camera, bro. Shit is crazy. These niggas is playing this role. Well, what what hood dude would want to sue? I know Forty Glock did it, but it just like in your right mind, it's like this is over with. Which you can't do it no more. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy, my nigga. Then you talking all this shit, but everything I say, they deny it. Then he come back. Yeah, I, I can't. I can't go back over there. So doing a cease and desist is not a form of snitching. But look, no, didn't, didn't he ask you to be on that show, though? Yeah, he asked to be on the show. Yeah, he signed the paperwork. Asked you to be on the show, right, to help him out, right? Of yeah. course. So after you dropped the first video or whatever, was it a problem then, or was it the... I never, I never even dropped a video. Yo, Shay. See, the thing is... Yo. Like... You, that's yeah, when, he, when he, I exposed the nigga. Yeah, Wack exposed. Oh, Wack. Okay, Wack dropped it. Okay, okay, okay. The doctor was interviewing and I popped up in the room. I said, hey, homie. Why are you in the floor over there with Big U and them? Like, you don't know what's going on. And the whole time, you've been a part of the play on the other side. Nigga, I don't know what you're talking about. So, nigga, you didn't get your motherfucking ass whooped. You ain't on the motherfucking reality show. Nigga, you didn't feel me? Oh, no, that's what no. made you drop it. Yeah, no. I said, oh, you lying? Nigga, put that on your set, nigga. I said, matter of fact, hold on. I went and put the clip up. I went and put, you no, know, a picture of him lumped up. I said, that's you, right? Oh, that's photo. Oh, that's photo. Okay, hold on. Video. That's you, right? No, you stalled, you, stalled you stalled him out. You stalled him out. He did. He you did. Stalled him out for like a week. Nisha, for real. Like the le the head was left up. Yeah, like my nigga, come on. Now this nigga, the nigga is filing a lawsuit on a crip because he had a fade with a crip. You knew you was gonna get socked up and whatever, whatever the situation was. The crazy part about it is how the edit shows you walked up on dude. The baby, baby powder under that ball. He took off, crazy. actually, right, Luz? Yeah, he, yeah, took, he took off, off with the he, with, a pillow with the dude. Yeah, right, with right, the right. Pillow right. Hands. You took off. Yeah, and got the hat knocked off. Got the whole hat knocked to the side. It was crazy. It was like a said, baby powder. You took off, and now I'm I'm suing the crip because I got beat up by a crip. You didn't get jumped. You didn't get none of that. This shit is crazy, my nigga. They it wasn't me. It was crazy. So first though. they tried to they first they tried to lick you with the fake paperwork <laughs> whack, and now they they asked for fifty k. I mean, it's getting to a point once the content is kind of like, high. God damn! But what? then it's like, yeah, every it's like, week you niggas is obsessed with some shit, bro. For real, shit crazy. Now this, I couldn't believe when I was reading this shit. I said, did this nigga really? Where is this? Shit? You gotta get that front. So, 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 Luz, what you gonna? How you gonna go about it? You just gonna tell him that he signed the contract? 
Uh, I'm going to send it to my legal and, and just send yeah. in the contracts and send in the footage and see what's going to happen is now I'm going to play a dirty game. I'm going to turn around and do a reverse suit for legal fees. Oh, shit. Now, you yeah. know that man ain't got taxes. <laughs> no, at that point, you playing the game because you, you forget you took off on him. You signed yeah. the motherfucking waiver. Did, did you forget this is a show? Was that breach of contract? Is that what you're going to try to go about? You came, you came and, and apologized for your behavior after the fact on the show. Live. You can't make this shit up. And it said the film represent Larry Grant. Preach. Larry, Preach. Who appeared on the reality <laughs> Mr. Grant alleges the following claims. International affliction of emotional distress. Mr. Grant was subject to outrageous conduct. This ain't no, Nate, no, we ain't using a head of faith no more. We gonna say, yo, is y'all with the outrageous conduct or not? Which caused Mr. Grant severe emotional distress. That ass whooping caused this nigga uh, so severe he, emotional so, distress. So he saw it because he got his ass whooped on, on TV. There it go. <laughs> Mr. Grant claims also uh, gives rise to attorney fees pursuant to California law. Nah, we gonna counter that with you. Nigga, because at the end of the day, I think you lied to these people and ain't told these people you signed up for this and you initiated the motherfucking the fight. I thought niggas from Cali don't care about losing the fight as long as they get in there and squabble. Well, listen, do you ain't been hearing me tell you the streets is a mess? You say one more thing about Cali, you're going to get booted. Man. Yeah. <clears throat> Physical pain and mental suffering and emotional distress. Yeah, he's trying That's to claim it. I. <laughs> this nigga crazy. Emotional you know, distress is crazy. This conduct causes extreme. Look, I'm just reading lines. That's another thing. This conduct caused extreme emotional distress and humiliation. Here it go. Mr. Grant has been severely traumatized as a result of this incident. Based on the facts so forth above, recalculate 50,000 as compensation for his injury caused by this emotional distress. Hey, now you need to keep crip out of his mouth, bro. <laughs> hey, but look, also, Wack, it, 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 you, have, you have to prove that the that the emotional distress that you received came directly from the person you suing. It Talk about it. But, but not only that, that came I'm gonna directly tell you that. from the person. I'm going to tell you what's crazy. We know when it was shot. And we know when it was exposed. And nowhere in there did you go seek therapy, treatment, or nothing. You went to work every day until you just got hit by that truck, put it out the driveway about two mm -hmm. months ago. Right? You went to work every day. You was rapping. You was on Clubhouse. You was on motherfucking whatever that shit is. StreamYard, YouTube. You was on there talking shit, laughing. All that I don't think he understands when you fucking with niggas that got real law firms, nigga, you better have your ducks in order because now all the motherfucking research that they gotta do, and when we run our tab up, you gotta pay it. If not, we're gonna tie it to your little social security number and whatever you got left, or whatever pop up, or whatever job you get, and we're gonna come get your money since you wanna play. Let's play. You eat the dummy. All right, we're going to leave it right there. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this audio, man. Wag 100 reacting to a Crip suing a Crip simply because he lost a fade, right? Suing the network, suing the company, even though he signed waivers and agreements to be on this reality show. We already know, man, when you sign up for reality shows and reality TV, they make you sign disclaimers so that if anything happens to you, like any kind of damages or anything like that, you get beat down, right? They're absolved of any kind of legal responsibility so he may not even get any money out of this i don't know but the terminology in the lawsuit that wack 100 was reading is pretty much on par with what people would have to say if they were beat up they're gonna cite emotional distress right they're gonna cite severe trauma right they're gonna cite hey i can't sleep at night things like that i lost money i lost my job i'm stressed i'm depressed and things like that just to get the judge and or jury on their side so they can get that money man they're seeking punitive damages when it comes to things like this right so you have to make it seem like it's the worst thing in the world that happened to you and it is something that is bothering you and it is something that you can't get over you think about it constantly over and over and over so this is really on par but what's really out of 
whack is what whack 100 and loose cannon is saying is that this dude is supposed to be a street dude this dude is supposed to be a crip so what happens to the streets when the crips start suing bloods and blood start suing crips and gds start suing bds bds start suing gds and regular street thugs just start suing people simply because they got shot or simply because they got beat up jumped on we already know that's the rules to the game it comes down to the come down right what's good for the goose is good for the gander and you have to accept the rules of the streets no matter how ugly it may get at any given time but this was legal business that's being handled so does he have a leg to stand on in the court of law when it comes down to a civil lawsuit i don't know man but white 100 did say he dropped some footage on that thing man i haven't seen it i haven't seen any footage of this situation at all i don't even know when it took place but apparently there's a real lawsuit about to happen in the court of law and he's coming after 50k whack 100 the network and loose cannon right so you already know man when somebody sues they're gonna go after the bigger fish whack 100 is the bigger fish so he's gonna go after him right he's also going after the network but will he get some money out of this thing man will he get 40k right later on in the audio whack was saying yo they'll settle for 40k will he get that right and how do you guys feel about this man is the streets dead are you okay with the dude who proclaims himself to be a street guy a dude who proclaims himself to be a gangbanger a dude who proclaims himself to be about that life that street life where we don't deal with law enforcement at all are you okay with a dude suing somebody who's supposed to be a street dude right can you sue can you sue your record label can you sue a business person can you sue a, you know a person who wronged you a person who stole something from you or do you have to go out there and seek street justice man y'all let me know what y'all think man because i'm gonna tell you like this man when it comes down to the come down a lot of dudes are gonna sue you especially if you got a bag that's why celebrities can't really touch you like that man that's why people are seen talking junk to celebs trashing them dragging them through the mud because that celebrity knows man if i touch this guy he's gonna sue me out my pants right so what about the other side of that man what about the street element of it all man you you're a street dude you challenge the dude to a squabble you lose can you sue him and still be considered a street dude and still be considered real we already know man nobody cares about telling today but what about suing man y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section man this has been getty video i appreciate you being here please like comment subscribe i will catch you guys on the flip side peace